Hey everybody, welcome back. Today I wanted to show you where I keep all of my stationery and more importantly, I wanted to show you my entire sticker collection. I like to keep my desk pretty clean and only allow myself to have a few journals and some pretty minimalist stationery on top of my desk. The vast majority of my supplies are kept underneath in two side-by-side -side compartments. The first one containing my dot markers, um, fountain pens, inks, and a bunch of stickers and some other little goodies as well. And then just across the way to the right, I have another compartment which has my washi tapes and other miscellaneous goods like hole punchers, little staplers, and other more school supplies. Without further ado, let's get started looking at my sticker collection. In my storage binder is where I keep most of my sticker sheets. So these are the transfer stickers that you saw for my July setup and they're the ones that you rub on. Super fun, love those. Then I have some just miscellaneous itty bitty stickers, which are so cute. Some free stickers that I got. And then this next little section is from AliExpress. Unlike other videos, I'm not linking all of these stickers down in the description below because I honestly don't think I'd be able to find all of them. But if you are looking for one of these sticker sheets specifically, I will do my best to let you know. So drop a comment and I will respond. But all of these that you're seeing right now are from AliExpress. And then these guys here are from a small uh, stationery store. The next type of sticker that I have are these three little sticker books. They come in different colors. So you select a color and then all of the stickers inside are on that color theme, which is very helpful when you're trying to color coordinate. So I got an orange set, uh, a purple set, and then a red set as well, which matches my nails today. So that's really cute. Um, and yeah, these are also washies as well. And then in this little sticker box, I have fairy stickers as well as some miscellaneous stickers. And this pack actually came with genuine items from Ikea, which is probably illegal, but also super fun. I love that pack of stickers. And then these little baby sticker books. Um, these are similar to the ones before, so they are color coordinated and they are also on washi paper. So they apply onto paper kind of semi-translucent and I got a modern art version as well, which is really fun. The next ones that I have are these little sticker boxes. I didn't open these up on camera because they are just a mess to get back in the box, but I have some cute little black cats and some coffee ones, like a little cafe, and then two packs of Christmas styled ones, which you saw in my other video as well. And then I have these ones, the postage stamps, which you have seen almost every day. <laughs> Next in my collection are these sticker books. Once again, you kind of purchase on theme. So this is a black grayscale book, and then the rest are kind of more muted muted tones. And I would say each of these books are all um, vintage inspired in terms of the type of uh, iconography and um, products in there. They're all like from the, from the mid 40s and 50s, which I just thought was super cool and great for like scrapbooking. And another fun thing about these is they have some mistranslated English sayings, which is super freaking funny in my opinion. So you also get those included as well. Next, I have some more sticker sheets, but I keep these guys separate because they're some of my favorites. These are from bujostickers.com and I actually got gifted these guys from my aunt who watches this channel. So hello, shout out to my aunt. These are some of my favorites. They are beautiful colors, super vibrant, and they also come in so many different themes. They are perfect for everyday journaling and I love buttons, okay. And then all of my loose sticker sets are kept in my crocheted pouch. So this first set is based on TV shows. So we have The Office, Brooklyn Nine-Nine, Parks and Rec, and then a couple from Keeping Up with the Kardashians. Um, and there are some really funny ones of Kim, like this one, I just think that's hilarious. And then moving on, I kind of blended two sets here. So some of these are just fresh flowers and then some are dried pressed flower stickers. They are still stickers. Um, and these are really slippery, so they're kind of hard to deal with, but they're also pretty, so I make that sacrifice. 
And again, in this last bag, I've combined a couple different sets. So some of these are butterflies, some are flowers, some are travel destinations. And so I decided to show you all of them. I should pour them out all over my desk and make a humongous mess. It wasn't humongous, but it was annoying to clean up. So uh, drop a like for my struggle and subscribe to see me do more stupid things like this. And as I'm cleaning up, I thought I'd let you know why my clips are muted today. We had some chit chat going on in the background and so I couldn't get that good ASMR, so I'm sorry. And my last satchel of stickers are these character stickers and I decided not to pour these out all over my desk this time so I pulled out a select few to show you but it's just um, people and they're going about their business and I like them. All right, that is my entire sticker collection. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Um, hit the... Sorry, I dropped my phone. Uh, hit the like button and subscribe if you want to see more like this. Thanks so much. Bye-bye.